Amber Heard is not the only person that's running around trying to squeeze out crocodile tears. This next story involves me Shout and Patrice Cullors. You know, <laughs> Patrice Cullors. Amber Heard, crazy she is tale. the founder of Black Lives Matter. The movement is all about black lives. Put tons of money, give, give, donate money to rinse yourself of white guilt. Well, I've been working on a documentary about Patrice Cullors. I've been wondering, I've been asking, I've been searching for. That's funny. I apologize. Donate money to rinse yourself of white guilt. <laughs> And if you're black and you don't donate, then you're not black. You're black white supremacists. That's what you are, huh? If you're black and you don't and you don't donate, then you got white privilege. That's the problem. <laughs> I've been working on a documentary about Patrice Cullors. I've been wondering. I've been asking. I've been searching for the answer to this question. Black Lives Matter reported to have raised more than $90 million what? on the back of George Floyd oh, and other black nah. people that died at the... What did they do with that money? That's what I want to know. What? How, how do they raise that much money? How do you... Mm. $90 million mm. on the back of George Floyd and other black people that died Ooh. at the hands of police, as they say. And no one seems to be able to account for the dollars. So I thought I would like to take a look at this. Patrice jumped on Instagram as we were recording this and I was outside of her home. And here is her explaining... Um, what took place? This morning, I woke up to Candace Owens being outside of my house with a news crew. Um, she was demanding that I come outside. Um, oh, man. And uh, when I looked at the video recording, of what she was asking about. She was actually asking about the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation property. Uh, and for some reason, it seems like she thought my house was that. Um, it's unacceptable and it's dangerous that anybody, any stranger come outside of my house, but it's really unacceptable and dangerous when Candace Owens, another <laughs> black woman, who is actually working as a part of a right Sounds like agenda. Patrice is afraid of black people. That seems like a little bit of racial profiling, Patrice. You might want to check that. First and foremost, she's a liar. We know this. It's why I've nicknamed the movement Black Lives Matter. She starts out by saying, I woke up to Candace Owens outside of my house. It was about 10 a.m., Patrice. You're lazy. And it obviously oh had gosh. no idea she was inside. She contradicts herself when she retells the story. First, she says, Candace demands that I come outside. That never, absolutely never happened. But she's trying to create this imagery of her being afraid and scared and me going, Patrice Cullors, come outside. But then she immediately jumps and says, well, Candace didn't know where she was at. And she was asking if this was the residence that Black Lives Matter brought, uh, purchased so that black people could, as she said in the press and Black Lives Matter, have a creative space to create videos. Those two ideas conflict with one another. It is true that I showed up at one of the many million dollar residences um, that are connected to Black Lives Matter. I had no idea that Patrice Cullors lived there. I had no idea that she was inside. Uh, there were no demands made. There was a security car, a security guard. That so when she said that she showed up to my home, you just so happened to show up to one of the many million dollar mansions that they have. Now, Okay, um, is Black Lives Matter uh, a nonprofit? Um, how now? I know people get rich all the time off of nonprofits. I mean, church is is some churches out there that aren't living right, son. And I don't care what you say. Pastors not living right. The deacons, the deaconesses, the the choir, the um, the the music ministry, everybody is some. I'm just saying, and those are. Um, considered, um, 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 what you call it? I just now said it, but yeah, um, nonprofits. So, is she able to buy million dollar homes off of her nonprofit, or was she using the nonprofit money to flip, to flip the money into like different home flips, real estate, and all this other stuff, using other people's donations as um, as seed money to start her own business and grow her own businesses.
that's what I want to know more of because um, I, I do think it's important that we do establish, you know, um, how in the world did you get this house? I mean, if if this is part of the Black Lives Matter money, then uh, Rama, guess what? Uh, uh, you in the wrong, sis. You in the wrong. You in the wrong. That's not how are you supposed to be growing a community with that money? You're supposed to be building with that money. If you're going to invest, then you should invest that money um, for Black Lives Matter. So just 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 to keep it at the same in the same narrative of um, we're doing this for black people who are assaulted unjustly by the police and who are dying at the hands of the cops and all this other stuff. And whatever things y'all going to do with in the community with that money, as far as throwing, um, 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 what you call them, not parties or anything, but festivals where you bring, it's just to get people in a good mood because people do that all the time in different cities. I've seen rappers do it in cities where they're from. They throw big old extravagant parties for, um, not extravagant, but they bring artists out there and they let the whole community where they're from participate just so they can have something to do, a, a day of no crime. Isn't that sad? A day of no crime. It's, it's unfortunate because I got t-shirts that say Black Lives Matter. I was in the I was in the parade down um, downtown during this whole George Floyd and many other people. We was like, say their name. We was walking and I was like, I, I think this is a good thing. We 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 doing a good thing, right? Huh? We doing a good thing? Yes, we doing a good yeah, we doing a good thing. And then it turned out that you guys are doing nothing but robbing the people that you're supposed to be representing, and that sucks. I never paid attention to the organization itself. I was thinking that Black Lives Matter, the way it was explained to me, means something. So I'm going to represent it. Yeah. Black fist in the air. Yeah. Black Lives Matter. What's going on, fellow white person? Yeah, y'all with us? You're with me. I even posted that video um, on YouTube. A lot of people didn't like it. A lot of people didn't like it. But guess what? That was my level of understanding at that time. Now I'm trying to get a new level of understanding. If y'all can help me out with that, that would be amazing. Okay. That was outside, uh, who happened to be white, might be relevant. And I simply asked him if there was anyone available that we could speak to about the purchase of this home. All right, guys, digital eye strain. You all know what I'm talking about. We are staring at our screens all day, and sometimes it causes headaches or sore eyes. Blue string Fox uses some of those digital headaches and reading Candace LU, 20% high-end home I was at. I just want to take you through Patrice Cullors' real estate empire that she's been building in the oh. background of the Black Lives Matter movement. Oh. Okay, so she spent $3.2 million on high-end homes between 2016 and 2021 at the peak of the movement. In 2016, she bought a home in Inglewood, California for $510,000. In 2018, she purchased a $590,000 home in South Los Angeles. In January, she purchased a $415,000 custom ranch in Conyers, Georgia, which features a private airplane hangar. That sounds nice. In 2021, she purchased a $1.4 million home in exclusive Los Angeles neighborhood of Topanga Canyon. That's the one that I was at. In 2022, they spent nearly $6 million. This is the organization directly in their donations to purchase a 6,500 square foot California mansion. And they made the purchase through an intermediary named Dwayne Pascal, who is the financial manager for an LLC owned by Black Lives Matter co-founder Patrice Cullors and her wife. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, wow. Speaking of her, her wife, wife, BLM Canada in the summer of 2021. Hold up, she said her wife. She said her wife. Oh, so she's um she's of the LGBTQ community too. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Um, okay. All right. I didn't know that. All right. Not that that you know what I mean, do what you do, baby. You know what I mean? Be who you are. I love that. You know, love is love and all that jazz. Um, I do want to know how they was financing those houses that they were purchasing. That was a lot of daggone houses that they were purchasing, man. That was a lot of houses they were purchasing. If it, if the houses were off the hands of donations from Black Lives Matter, then I got a hell of an issue with it, man.
a hell of an issue with it. Really. One purchased a three-story Victorian mansion in Toronto to turn it into Ooh. a ten thousand dollars square foot art center <laughs> and a meeting space. Ooh. The six point three million dollar mansion was bought by M4BJ. In case you're wondering what that is, it's an acronym for a Toronto-based nonprofit set up by Janaya Khan, the wife of Patrice wow. Colors. All of this seems a little bit shady. And by the way, that $6 million mansion, that 6,500 square foot one, I should mention that Patrice recently came out and confessed that she lied. You know, they told us it was for arts and craft and creative activities for the Black Lives Matter That's community. She well, yeah, she yeah. came out after I showed up at her place and said, actually, you know what? I lied. And we actually have been using this for some other things, some other things, including her son's birthday party, her young son's <laughs> birthday party. And also they hosted a, a party, party to celebrate the inauguration of Joe Biden. Yo, that was a lit party. If you having a party at a six million dollar uh, like mansion ranch, sheesh, that's a lit party. I want to be like her when I grow up. No, I don't. No, I don't. Mm hmm. I do want to purchase my wife her dream house. I do want to do that. But for all I know, the house that we've built with her family, that I mean, with our family, with her kids, that she's she probably look at this as her dream house. She she's most comfortable here. So maybe I should just do things here. I don't know. Maybe I can give me some of them um, Black Lives Matter funds. Throw on a T-shirt. Mm -hmm. Give me a couple of real estate investments off of it. Mm -hmm. If they can do it, then I can do it. I mean, because honestly, it's, it's essentially that's what anybody can do. If you're raising money for, I mean, for, and you're just going to throw out a name, okay, what we raising money for? What we raising money for? Black Lives Matter is what we raising for money for. LFR family, please do me a favor, hit that Black Lives Matter donation button below on your way out the door, please. And thanks. And I'm taking all that money and I'm flipping houses with it. That don't sound right. Do it. Now, if I was using that money to give back to the black community, to give back, and I say the black community because it's Black Lives Matter. So to give back to the community or help that cause in some type of way, then by all means, that makes all the sense in the world to me. But they say stay out of people's pockets, stay out of people's business. I'm trying to stay out of people's business, but it's not your business once you have all of these people donating, thinking that their money is going somewhere else when obviously it's not. And now she got to uncover it and you're looking ridiculous. And I'm certain that a lot of people who support you, um, Patrice, um, can care less about Candace Owens finding this information out. They're like, she just hating. She don't know what she's talking about. If you if we ain't going to jail for it, then it's not illegal. Screw her, whatever. I know how Come on now. I know I know how we talk. Come on now. But we need to cut that out, man. Do with the money what you're supposed to do with the money. Hosted a party to celebrate the inauguration of Joe Biden. Joe Biden. I thought the she money. said Come she on. was scared for her kids. Come on now. Who throws a celebration for Joe Biden if you've got any fear regarding children? But none of those facts actually matter to Patrice. She actually was able to work herself up into what I would describe as a histrionic personality disorder, maybe, and made herself cry on Instagram. Take a look. Y'all, I really need my family to be safe. I need to be safe. I need my child to be safe. And this, this, what happened this morning is not safety. It's not what I deserve. You're not crying for real. Um, those aren't real tears, babe. Um, sorry, they aren't. You're not a good actress is what it is. You might be a, I mean, you're, you're a good person deep down, you know what I mean? But you got, you, you were lost. You, that money got a hold of you and you started to get these grandiose ideas that just ruined it. Like it started out with a, with a, a pretty decent idea. You just got lost and those tears, they're fake. And once you have fake tears, then people are going to judge you for that because next time you cry wolf, they're not going to believe you, but commence. Not safety, it's not what I deserve. It's not what any of us deserve. Yeah. 
Mom, I really need my child to be safe. There's an eight-month pregnant woman outside asking politely uh, if she can speak to somebody. And I don't know why I'm still sleeping and my child's not even here, but... Oh, hold on. Eight months pregnant? What? Congratulations, baby. Congratulations. Everybody say congratulations. Congratulations, Candice. I didn't know you were pregnant. I did not know you were pregnant. You're carrying that weight pretty damn good. Are you talking about yourself? Nah, let me not assume because I get canceled right now for saying, you know what? You do look pregnant. <laughs> and the next thing you know, I'm canceled. Like, he, he just called her pregnant. <laughs> but I hope that you believe these non-tears that are coming down my face. Here's what actually happened when I showed up at her house. Take a look. I did see some cars that were loaded, so there's definitely somebody home. Hello. Um, I was just looking to speak to whoever is at this property because it's listed as the Black Lives Matter property. Sir? Hello? <laughs> he's checking He's checking with boss. You gotta check with Are you boss. instructed not to speak to anybody? We're not trying to harass you. We'll gladly leave. We're just wondering if we can speak to anybody. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. So the moral of this saga wow. is that Patrice Cullors continues to lie. Black Lives Matter continues to lie. And the reason that she's lying and trying to squeeze out these last victim crocodile tears is because she knows the truth is coming. She has a full security detail. Wow, young lady. Hmm. Pretty savvy, pretty, pretty, pretty savvy. I've been working on this documentary for months to expose Black Lives Matter. It has frustrated me being a person that has always been telling the truth about what they were doing. Obviously, what looked to me to be a money laundering scheme was not exposed, but it seems finally the world is ready to hear the truth. And they can do so when they watch my documentary, which I'm doing with The Daily Wire, and it is going to get so much worse for this organization when people realize just how fraudulent they've been. Thanks for joining me on this segment of Candace. If you no problem at all, Candace. And, and, and again, congratulations. I'm just smiling because I love when families do what they do. You know what I mean? They practice the pull-out game. They bring, a, they bring a child into this world and they love them and they care for them and they nurture them and they teach them and they show them and help grow them and all this other stuff. It's amazing, man. Congratulations. I'm happy. I'm happy if you're happy. That's good. I want to hear what y'all got to say about this in the comments below. If you have yet to hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so on your way out the door. Once again, guys, I am Van, and now we are all the LFR family, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video, hopefully inside of the Patreon as well. And thank you so much for everyone who have been hitting that super thanks button. I really, 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 really don't know what to say. I don't know what to say so, i mean i really don't know what to say it's just it's it's y'all are amazing thank you so much love y'all bye